Jay, you don't really, you're not really out in the media. You don't really speak much, but it was known kind of around the league that you don't have to get into super detail, but you had a hard time kind of forgiving um, the whole process. And, and there was a rift between you and Ron for a while. And it finally came, you know, you guys just, you know, you got cool a little while ago, but how hard was that? Like I said, just the overall understanding of the process and then kind of the internal rift with you two. <clears throat> I think if you know me, like, you know, I'm about the right thing. Right. Um, I am I am very intense in many ways. I am a zero to ten guy, but um, I like to talk things through and, and Ron what I what I here's what I wish I would have knew back then that I know now is his struggles, right? Mental health is a real thing in our in, in our world and we all deal with things a little bit differently. Um, he he was dealing with it in a way that I didn't understand. But to, not to cut you off, but we're just starting to talk about mental health now. Think about it, this is 17 years ago, yeah, so right. this is not even registering with us really, as anybody really registering with us. So go ahead. And I, I took it as as disrespect. I mean, Jack was in a lot. I, t I just took it as he was being disrespectful to all of our time and effort, right? And the Pacers was doing the best job that they they could, I think, at the time to hold to, it together. To hold it together because. Um, he would, we did, just didn't know, I mean, he would just not show up to stuff, right? I mean, people don't realize too, um, that it really, for, for us, it start for me and him, it started the year before in the conference finals, right? Where the, the, after the game that Reggie got blocked, um, we didn't see him. Because remember, when, you know, when you go from uh, your home to the, the way game, it was like two games in between. Mm -hmm. We didn't see him until shoot around two days later, right? And so that was kind of the real moment where I was just, I was just, I was past the point of, of friendliness, right? I wanted to scrap like all the time, mm -hmm. but I was uneducated, right? I wish I was able to be a better teammate to him versus being aggressive towards him, being more of a brother to him, mm -hmm. right? Because again, I didn't know. Um, and so I had an opportunity, um, to uh, sit down with them, you know, shout out to the big three. Uh, it was the first time I actually had lunch with them since wow. the time that. And how long, how long ago was this? That was two years ago. Okay. And me and him just sat and had lunch together and we kind of talked things through. Um, and we're just in a better place. The one thing that has keeps getting lost in his doc that he did two years ago, uh, and even this doc, I'm like, damn, why the hell, you know, things I'm saying about him isn't getting put into the doc? Cause it seems like they want to keep the, yeah, that, that rift between me and him, I'm super proud of where he is today. Mm. Right? It takes a lot for a man to talk openly about his failures and his struggles and stuff like that. You know, we are all prideful you know, men, and to, to hear him say that um, means a lot, and I'm, 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 I'm proud of him from that perspective. But it's also big of you, you know, to kind of take in, you know, you're taking a step back, it's been 17 years removed, but trying to see, even though you were part of it, to see where you could have been better at too. And I know yeah. Jack has done this before too, to just to kind of see like, damn, you know, I could have did this better to hope maybe it would have changed this. And most people are just like, no, fuck it, it's his problem. He should have did this. But, you know, to also put, you know, point the finger at yourself, feeling like where you could have did better as a person to try to hopefully solve. So that's growth when you're, you know, obviously, you know, with us being a lot older, I, but that's I big. felt I felt a different type of way, man, because the same counselor they had him seeing, they asked, they asked me to see. And I wasn't doing those things. So at the time, I was real insensitive to what he was going through. You know what I'm saying? Because we seeing the same lady. They got us talking to the same lady, but I ain't doing the dumb shit you doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They calling me crazy too, but I ain't doing the dumb shit he, he was doing. So mm -hmm. I was kind of insensitive to it too, you know? Cause right. we talking to the same lady and really I felt like I was wasting my time talking to her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they felt like me and Ron were in the same boat for some damn reason. <laughs> so I was sitting there talking to the lady and he, and you know, after we talked to her, he go do something else crazy. I'm like, well, look, man, I don't, I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So. I was, I was kind of the same way. I was insensitive too.